Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a Fire TV Stick user, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for this video, whether you're a beginner or an advanced user, because there are some new features for the Fire Stick with the latest update you're gonna to wanna to know about. We're gonna talk about that in today's video. Stay tuned. All right, let's get you in on the screen really, really close. I wanna make sure you get a good view of this here. Now, in order to get these new features, these brand new features that just added to the Fire devices, you will need to have the latest update. So the latest update to the Fire TV device. If you don't know how to do that, it's really simple. Go to the right-hand gear, head on down to My Fire TV, click about go down to check for updates now if you have the latest update on the right hand side there you'll see i do it'll say your fire tv is up to date if not it will ask you to update it go ahead and update it you will get the latest features of here and there's some really cool features so let's go ahead and go home here now the first one i want to talk about is a really cool one if you have prime if you're a prime member and that is a secret prime menu it's a super cool secret prime menu it's not the traditional one where you just click on prime video and you get the videos that are available to you this is actually a secret menu where you can manage your account. It's really, really cool. So how do you get to it? Well, all you need to do, again, is go to the gear on the right-hand side, head on down to Account and Profile Settings, then head down to Prime Video really quick. It's the third one down. If you go ahead and click on that Prime Video menu, you will notice it's completely different from the regular Prime Video. It actually has the ability to change your language, sync content, manage rentals, purchases. You can also manage your subscriptions. You can even turn off and mute those automatically playing with sound previews that come at the top of the screen. They can be extremely annoying. Um, I usually mute it on my remote, but I do like to watch them sometimes if I'm trying to decide what to watch, but most of the time I just mute them and you can do that right here in that setting. You can also go to parental controls and you can go to your account and change your account on your Fire TV. Why would you want to do that? Well, let's say, for example, you have multiple people using this Fire device and you don't want them to access or purchase any content, or maybe you're, you purchase a second-hand Fire Stick, or maybe you're selling your Fire Stick. Well, that's how you would do it right there to be able to deactivate it. And at the top, you've got your traditional stuff that you would normally see in Prime Video, your stuff, categories, channels, store, free to me, and then, of course, your home. Now, home is what you normally would see when you open up your Prime Video just like this but you actually have access to all the other menus right at the top here and all of those settings on the left hand side so this is a nice secret menu it is something they add in the latest update to the fire tv device all right let's head on back to the home screen here now the second new feature that the fire tv devices just added is the internet diagnostics feature now why would you want to do that well the internet diagnostics feature is an awesome awesome feature let me show it to you really quick go to the gear on the right hand side and then you're going to go to network if you click on network, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for the network that you're connected to. Now here you can also see other networks that you might have. I have the 5G right here on Wolfpack, but it's very possible if you're really far from your router, maybe a 2.4 might work better. But how do you access this menu? Simply click on your network that you're on and then hit your play button. On the right hand side there you can see press play to check your network. What, what this is gonna do is gonna diagnose your network. It also gives you the ability to run a speed test. Now this is really critically important because you can find out maybe why you're buffering, why you're having network issues. All, all things like this you can actually figure out right here within this portal. So if you run a speed test you can see how fast you're going. You wanna have a certain amount of speed with certain apps. This is how you can find out how fast it is. But there's another feature on here that's really important and critically important and that's in the advanced section if you click the advanced section what you're gonna look for right here on the right hand side is network quality that's really what you want to focus on because signal strength noise are two very very important features of your success of having a, a streaming device any streaming device that you have you definitely want to have a high signal strength and a low noise you don't want a lot of noise a lot of things in between causing disruption and you want to have a strong signal now those are very very important to having a successful network and what do you need how do you fix it well maybe a new router uh, maybe you need to move to, to a different location maybe move your router a little bit closer there's lots of things you can do but that's where you're going to do it right here in the internet diagnostics section so let's go back home really quick here and we're going to look and talk about the third and my favorite without question feature that they just added to the Fire TV device, and that's the Smart Home Dashboard. So what is the Smart Home Dashboard? Well, let's go ahead and do it right now. All you need to do is hold your microphone down and ask for open Smart Home Dashboard. 
And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up a new menu. A new menu that they added. It's kind of a hidden menu. It's hard to find if you don't ask for it. So ask for it definitely. But what do you find here? Well, you're going to find all of your smart home devices. So your cameras, your lights, your groups you have set up. All of that can be accessed there. So let's go ahead and check out my driveway. Now I have a ring, any A-L-E-X-A enabled cameras or lights will you'll be able to use this feature. So it's really cool and it's not just ring. So if you look at there, you can see my driveway right there real clear. It's gonna be a big screen. So it's kind of nice you can pull it up on your TV. Now you could always do that with the Cube or the Fire TV Edition TVs, but now you can do it with the stick. If you go to the top, you can switch between groups, you can switch at lights. You can see all the different lights and control those on there right on your TV. And then of course other cameras. There's previews if you've already looked at the camera for a certain amount of time. There's not if you don't. So I just open up really quick my um, front door right here so you can kind of take a look at the fact that you can access different cameras like that. It's pretty cool. It's a really neat feature to have, and it's my favorite of all the new ones. There's quite a few new things that they did, but these are the top three newest features, and I definitely wanted to bring them to you guys. I think you'd really take advantage of all three of these features. So I wanted to make sure I shared it with you guys as soon as possible. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know these features are always changing on the Fire Stick and that's why I do these videos. I try to get them out to you as soon as they do updates to let you know of the newest features of these Fire Sticks. They're always adding new things and that's the cool thing about tech is it's always changing and trying to make things better. And I think these features are a lot better. Do me a favor guys, comment down below. Let me know which one of these features you like the best of the three I mentioned in this video. Go ahead and comment right down below. By commenting down below, it really helps me get an idea of what kind of videos you want to know more about. If you have any questions about any of these features or maybe one of them is not working for you, go ahead and comment down below as well. I'd be happy to help you out. Again, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for supporting the channel.